Hi everyone, welcome to Korean Express YouTube channel. So here comes the part third of our video series in which we are learning school related terms in Korean language. In the first two parts, we learned the names of different levels of school education from kindergarten to university and the different subjects that are taught in school. Now, in the third part, we are going to learn the names of people associated with the school. Okay, all the people related to school in Korean language. So, without wasting any time, let's start. First comes the Korean word for teacher and there are two words for it, Kyosa and Sansengnim. Kyosa, Sansengnim. So basically, they both translate to teacher, but there is slight difference. Kyosa uh, means a school teacher, okay, to be precise. And Sansengnim, it means teacher in general, okay. Another thing is that Sansengnim is a more honorific way to say teacher in Korean language. Okay, so whenever you are addressing your teacher in Korean, you should use Sansengnim, not Kyosa, okay. Why Sansing Nim is an honorific term? Because this syllable Nim, it is attached to the word Sansing, which translates this whole word into another level, to a higher level of respect. Okay, so these are the two words for teacher, Kyosa and Sansing Nim. Okay, now let's move ahead and see how to say student in Korean language and that is Haksing, Haksing. Okay, here comes the next word, and that is the Korean word for principal. And principal in Korean language is called Kyojang Sansing Nim. Kyojang Sansing Nim. Next comes the Korean word for vice principal, and that is Kyogam Sansing Nim. Kyogam Sansing Nim. Notice the difference. Principal is Kyojang, and vice principal is Kyogam. Okay. Next comes the Korean word for professor, and that is Kyosunim. Kyosunim. Here comes the next one, and that is the Korean word for classmates. And classmates in Korean, there are two words: Tongkupseng and Panchingu. Tongkupseng, Panchingu. Now, both of them, their literal meaning is classmate. But Tongkup Singh, it is kind of a more formal or dictionary term for classmates. While Pan Singu is kind of a casual term. Because you can see Pan means class in Korean. And Chingu means friend. So class friend. Okay. Literally translates to class friend. So a class friend is kind of your classmate. So Pan Singu is also used to say classmate in Korean. Okay. Now comes the Korean word for coach and that is kochi. Kochi. You can see that it is a loan word. Next comes the Korean word for librarian and that is saso. Saso. Okay, now let's move ahead and see how to say janitor in Korean language and that is kwalin. Kwalin. Now comes the next word and that is the word for class president in Korean and that is panjang. Panjang. Here comes the next word and that is homeroom teacher. So in Korean it is called tamim sansing nim. Tamim sansing nim. Okay, let's move ahead and see how to say lecturer in Korean language and that is kangsa. Kangsa. Next comes the Korean word for junior. Junior is a student who is younger than you. So how you are going to address that student who is younger than you? He is your junior, he or she. So junior is called hube, hube. Okay. Next comes the Korean word for senior. Senior is a student who is younger than you. So in Korean, senior is sonbe. Sanbe. Okay, so these were all the people related to school in Korean language. I hope you like this video. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe Kuran Express YouTube channel. Thank you.